everybody, welcome back to Project Happy Home. For those of you who are new here, I'm Tanya, a doctor, lawyer, turned homeschool mom of three kids ages nine, six, and four. If you're interested in videos about secular homeschooling, raising a child with ADHD, and living a more essentialist, intentional lifestyle, you have come to the right place. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button below the video so you don't miss more videos like this. Today I'll be doing a quick curriculum review of a Becca's Number Skills arithmetic for K5. Now you might wonder why am I using a Becca and the reason is because I wanted to give it a go. I recently saw a video from Tanya, another Tanya, T-O-N-I-A, who does um, curriculum reviews and I'll link her channel in the description box down below and she does very short and sweet matter-of-fact curriculum reviews and she happened to mention that she had noticed that Abeka definitely is accelerated at least in the early years and I don't really have a particular desire to accelerate my kids or anything but it made me go and check out Abeka books and consider it particularly for my middle daughter who is a little bit quicker on math and likes to have some workbooks that spiral that she can do on her own just for extra practice. When I was browsing the Abeka website, I noticed the Number Skills K5 book, which is mainly for a younger set, for a four or five year old, I would say. My third child will be five in the fall, and I thought I would start her on this book because it is very straightforward. She loves to do book work with her older siblings so that she can be with them at the table, etc. And I just thought I'd do a quick flip through for you. Obviously, we haven't used a Becca yet, so this is more of a flip through than a review. But this way you can get an idea of how the pages are laid out. This book is about, I think, 160 odd pages. And it goes through and it's very colorful, which is something I like. I also like that it switches from one type of problem to the next fairly rapidly. So I won't show you guys every single page, but I will do a quick flip through. They have a lot of counting and sequencing, coloring boxes to match the number. They have some number writing practice and they start really early with cents, which I like. They stick to pennies for quite a while to keep it simple, but I like how varied the activities are. I like how there's only a couple of patterning things before they move on to money, before they move on to like an oral numbers evaluation here. There are certain oral evaluations and places in this book where having a teacher's guide would be helpful, but at the kindergarten level, I can pretty much make up what I'm supposed to do there. And it's not that often. So for example, here it says, fill the circle under the number your teacher says. And instead of reading a teacher's guide for that, I'll just say whatever number I want to say. It goes on with more counting practice. I like that they introduce things like clocks quite early in an area that makes sense. So for example, here they have tracing and writing four. They'll show you four chickens and they have four o'clock. So it's a nice way of showing all of that stuff at once. Again, Becca seems like a very traditional approach. There isn't that much theory involved here. That being said, for counting, um, I don't know how much theory really is necessary. Here again, it has write the number your teacher says, fill in the missing number, more tracing and writing practice. So for quite a while, it goes on like this. And then it starts to have actual clock practice here where you have matching times. And that's around page 42. It goes on and by page 46, you have very simple addition, plus one, um, with picture graphics for that so you can show the child right under the problem or right above the problem what's going on. Here you have circle the pennies you need to buy the balloon. I like that they're introducing more complicated math in a simple way early on. Like here, what time is it? I'm pretty sure most of the other curricula I've seen don't introduce time for certain until first grade if that so. going on, you'll start to have domino addition, which involves counting and addition, more time practice. There's a lot of sequencing, like what comes after. By page 62, you have dimes and 10 cents, so counting by tens. Here you have some ordinal number practice where you have to color the second snowflake in from the left. And by page 77, you're counting dimes. You're still doing time by the hour. You have some matching with the price of objects and you're counting and at page 92, you're into nickels. There's some little word problems starting around page 98. Some more time matching analog to digital clocks. Some more complicated addition you'll see like three plus three or 
four plus three, that's a good time to incorporate manipulatives or an abacus. And they even get into simple subtraction by 115. So how many went away? And it's very simplistic. It's just minus one at any given time. And then again, some simple word practice problems with subtraction. There's ideas of symmetry that we just passed. Here we have counting by fives, some color keys for the design. So if they see a triangle shape, they should color it yellow, a rectangle red, etc. I like the graphics in this book. I like that no one page is too overwhelming. And there's a little poem at the end. In all honesty, I found this book to be pretty secular. Again, I haven't done a page by page analysis, but as you can see through all these pages that I've flipped through, there is nothing not secular about it. In contrast to Math Lessons for a Living Education, which is most definitely not secular. One really sweet feature at the very back cover of this book is a growth chart where you're supposed to record in fall, winter, and spring how tall the child is. And that is just adorable. So <laughs> I might be keeping that page in her little file to remember. But um, yeah, I'm really pleased with this book. I am considering a few other supplementary materials. I am floating the idea of maybe using the Good and the Beautiful's kindergarten math as well because the manipulatives seem really beautiful. That being said, this is my no by year, so I'm going to evaluate that really, really carefully. I bought this book for, I think, around $15. Becca was having a sale, and so I got it. I think it typically retails for around $18. And it's a nice solid book. Um, I definitely think you can get workbooks from the Dollar Tree or places like that that cover similar concepts. I do like the repetition of this, the spiraling. I think your child will have these concepts really well down and pat by the end of the year if you stick to a book like this. So that was the review, you guys. I hope that was really helpful to you. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Have you guys used a Becca for math? Do you have any opinions about it one way or the other? I would love to hear in the comments. So as always, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you the very best day.